And what a way to start off a recording by not hitting the record button when you're supposed to. Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Rabby Ribby, and uh, yeah. I have to restart from my last save because I forgot to hit the record button. In any case, in the last episode, we uh, we were summoned to Rabby Rabby Town to help out uh, Shauna, who was having a bit of a bit of a crisis at the moment. At least I think it's a crisis. Ah, oh, well, I'll explain when we get there. First, we gotta find our way back to find a teleport stone so we can go back to town. Alright. Uh, not that way. I want to go here. Okay. Alright. Let's see what's for sale. Okay. Oh, they have some uh, hammer roll upgrades. So, buy that out. And, uh... Yeah, let's uh, buy some of the health ups. And a mana up. There, that should be okay. And, oh, oh my, uh, my health, my health went down a little bit because I bought all those. Okay. There, this should help. So, uh, let's see what, what, uh, Shauna's deal is. And see if we can help her at all. She gave her an inner tube. She gave her an inner tube for, uh, helping her stay in the water. Uh-huh. Okay, I, I don't know if she's an actual mermaid or not, but if she's, you know, whatchamacallit, hydrophilic, then yeah, you definitely want to have access to water to keep your uh, yourself healthy. <laughs> so Sassini says... Uh-oh, the music changed. That can only mean one thing. And why is everyone else here? Oh, oh yep, 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 it's a boss fight. Okay, so this is a different from the other boss fights. You can't you can't really actually hurt Shauna. You have to dodge her attacks until the battle ends. You can still still uh use the bunny amulet, and you can still attack her. She'll take poison damage, but other forms of damage will not uh, affect her. So we'll just uh, work our way around some of these bullets until her health meter depletes them to nothing. Really, once you wrap your head around this uh, particular aspect of the battle quote-unquote battle. It's not really that hard. Just gotta be mindful of your position and uh, be careful of where you stand. Oh, homing bullets. Great. I hate homing bullets! They're useful for your enemies, but not so good for the player. And I think you're still ranked on this particular fight. Because I did get a ranking for beating this uh, boss after finishing it the first time. Toho also has a few uh, spell cards that you cannot uh, hurt the boss on, for instance. 
though they are few and far between. And yeah, I hit her with the bunny amulet and she's taking poison damage. If you do hit her with poison damage, you can end the battle a little bit sooner, but I'm trying my best not to do that. I want to show off as much of her attacks as I can. Okay, yeah, she's starting to repeat herself. <laughs> oh, that's another thing. Um, if you attack your the performers, if you attack a Shana during this fight, the performers will start complaining and they'll start leaving on their own. But I guess they start leaving on their own anyways. Uh. Huh. Makes me wonder. If I complete the performance without getting hit, will I have all of the... all of the performers still there in the audience? Because right now, all I see are the Bear Sisters. Okay, now you can actually hurt her. And only a D rank this time. I got a C rank, but only because I was attacking her constantly. <laughs> okay, I see what's going on here, Sassini, you little cheapskate. Well, if you need if you need swimming lessons, you can turn to Arena. No, don't turn. Don't turn to Arena. She can't swim. She just kind of ignores the buoyancy effects of the uh, of the uh, of water. And they teleport back to town, despite only being a few feet away from the gate. And off she goes to to hydrate herself again. And uh, everything's back to normal, I think. <laughs> that was an interesting fight. Bit of an odd one, but uh, it's not a bad fight regardless. But now that that's done, we have to... I have another destination in mind. We still have... We're still missing a certain someone from town. In fact, several someones. Um... Well, Miru's on the list, of course, but... I have not seen... I have not seen, a uh, Ru... Seen Rumi anywhere. Rumi or Miriam. Hmm. That's a bit strange, don't you think? Thankfully, I know where to go next. At least, uh... At least for another character we're missing. And that character is actually very, very close to where we teleported in. Way. And in here, we will have another boss fight. Oh boy, Kotri strikes once again. Hey! 
And here we go, facing off against a red version of Kotri, and she is actually kind of dangerous this time around. You'll probably see once I get hit. Yep, yep, there's the burn status effect. It's dangerous. It, it causes you to lose HP constantly, even if you're if you're not doing anything. And given how hard it is for me to dodge attacks in this game, it's pretty much boils down to a case of get good at dodging, scrub. But of course, I am not good at dodging, especially not these annoying curly bullets. Ah, I can't even dodge the the aimed lasers. Ah. Stop doing that! You're literally spamming that uh, attack. Ah. This is not gonna go well, is it? I barely beat her the last time I fought her, and now I get already at full at half health. Ah. This may take me a few tries, folks, so bear with me here. Seriously, how do you dodge that? And she did it twice in a row! And now she's got her super attack, which basically apes basically apes uh, the final boss from the Super NES version of Aladdin. Thankfully, it's not too hard, but you got to be mindful of the bullets as you jump. I am probably going to lose this fight horribly, aren't I? Oops. I am probably going to lose, aren't I? Or not. Whew! That was even closer than last time. And <laughs> the first time I beat this boss, that, that reaction right there, that cracked me up so much. That was so worth it. That was so very worth it. Uh, well, let's be fair. Arena's been through a lot since the last time you saw her.
Yeah, don't don't sell your burn damage short, Kotri. Uh, blank screen? Huh. Yes, please, go back to the village. Go back to the village so I can have more health. Alright then. Ah, uh, that nightmare's over. Oh, that's right. Forgot all about her. Where is Iris? Eh, I'm sure she'll show up at some point. But for now, let's, uh... Let's actually explore these caverns a little bit, because, uh, it's clear that there's an objective there. Hey, would you look at that? There's a save point right there. Haha. <laughs> How nice. I'm not gonna use it yet, though. Oh, these kinds of enemies. Oh dear. Come on, jump into the laser. Jump into the laser! It's fun! That was probably not a smart idea. Oh, hey, an Easter egg. Nice. Ow. Less nice. Spikes hurt, darn it. Now, how am I supposed to get up there? That's a... Bit of a jump. Huh. Okay, well, the detector is reacting to something. I can see that much. So if we keep going this way, we might be able to find something else. Oh, lovely. Yeah, just just ambush me with enemies from off screen. Get out of my face, you dumb spark. Oh, <laughs> okay, then sure. Okay, yeah, the, there's an item in down in this direction. So let's see if we can find it. Yeah, here we go! Okay, the meter's going back down. But just in case. Okay, nothing there. So let's bounce back up and get attacked by these annoying sparks again. Ah! These red sparks are such a pain! Okay.
Okay. Yes, let's uh, rack up a huge combo there. I am perfectly fine with this. Oh. Not so perfectly fine with this. These heat fireball laser things. Oh, you're you're a big guy. Oh, <laughs> contact damage. It's definitely a thing for both you and your enemy. Thanks to that uh, one fire warp I picked up. Huh? There's another passageway here. I wonder what this is all about. Oh, we're back in the Forgotten Cave now. All right. Oh, I missed you. Okay. Okay. Anything here? You never know if you'll be able to find anything. There's always some kind of a secret cave to look out for. Secret nook or cranny and... Hey, I recognize this room! Yeah, this is, a. Uh... Okay! Yeah, we're back on familiar territory, sort of. Okay, good. So let's, uh... Go back a bit. I wonder why the heck there's a slide passage here. I guess it's just a, just, just in case you can't, uh, no, oh, actually, you do need a wall jump to get up there. Never mind. Well, not much else to report there. Yeah, be gone with you. Well, almost got hit there. Not that that would have mattered, but holding on to your health is a good idea. Get back here. Then I mentioned I hate those red sparks. They're annoying. We have quite a ways to cover, so... Whoops. Yeah, I'm being lazy. What of it? And this room again. Ow. Yeah, I'll just let you guys execute yourselves. I'm out of here. And of course... Wait, what? Huh. I thought there was a transition there. Gotta keep my health topped up. But now I need to work my way back somehow. Work my way down to that Hall of Memory. Ow. 
very ow. Yeah, goodbye to you. Okay, now I need to head down from here. <laughs> and avoid getting laser by the cultists. Oh, gotta keep going down. Okay, let's see if I can go back to that one save point I found and try going up from there. That might help. And this time I'm going to be a little smart about this. I mean, I picked them off with the laser before, but that required some uh, tricky shenanigans on my end. Oh boy, now I gotta go for this spike room of doom again. Avoid. Avoid, avoid, avoid. Whew! Nuisances those things are. Oh! Oh! It's Rita and uh, Saya. <laughs> well, let's be fair. If she uh, didn't tell us, we wouldn't have a post game. Uh huh. Oh dear. Okay then. So now we have to find a Shuri too. Alright then, now we have our uh, next objective, and it seems to be down in this uh, crevasse here. So, I think I'm going to take a moment to actually save my game, and then I'll uh, come back with another video in a bit. So, uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Until then, have a good day.